My right hand's coming across, grabbing the wrist. Right hand coming across, grabbing the wrist. My left arm, I'm not just taking it and pulling it over, all right? Watch how we do this. So we've had a lot of problems with this in the past. Right hand across, my forearm is what's hitting us off. Top of my forearm is hitting the back of his tricep right here. And again, I'm not looking away. When I get right here, forearm, boom, head position. At no point am I just trying to pull this off because I'm just going to circle away and back to where we were. So again, right hand comes across. My left forearm, boom, right here, never looking away. Got my, right now I have my head looking uh, right into his temple. From right here, what I'm going to do is take my left forearm again, I'm going to hit him in the rib. As I, as I hit him in the rib, I'm going to take a big step back behind him with my left leg, right here. Boom. Pushing him. See that? I didn't even have to go a single leg, went right down. So again, come across. Boom, right here. Simultaneously stepping back with my left leg and this forearm right here. Hitting him right in the rib. Come up a little bit. Should be hitting him right here. And I'm extending my entire arm. When I step back, I'm not going to just jab him with this. Come in here, sit with you, sit with you. Step back, extending my whole arm. Punch it through to my arm is straight. And then we finish from here. Again, we have our punch through finish. And then we have our walking back finish. But guys, Key right here is really extend this arm when I come through and make sure I take that step. And as I do it, I'm just picking, scooping this ankle. Coming here, boom, scooping it right up to my feet. The way this works is I really punch through with that arm. Remember when we did this at the open mat, our problem was we weren't punching this right. We're just trying to come here and pick it up. So stepping back my left uh, foot here, punch it all the way through. Coming up. My other one, come right here, and I'm pushing in. He starts pushing back in me a lot. I feel him really pushing back into me. I'm going to use his momentum. I'm going to let him do it. Yeah, it's where I'm moving. So I start pushing into him. He pushes back. I'm going to take this arm, go down and away, take a big step in my right foot. Down and away, boom. Get him, coming ankle. I'm not going to his waist. It's a good guy. He might roll through, switch, whatever. So I'm coming down that ankle. But the key here is I'm not just pulling him down. I'm not just pulling away, it's going down and away. So I'm into my tall one, and I feel him pushing back into me a lot. Big step, down and away. Got him right by for my two. So I might be going for my rib punch right here, but he's pushing into me too much. All right, boom. So you're using both of them together. That first one usually, if you go right for it, you know, it might not be as high percentage. But if I'm going for another take right there, and I feel him pushing into me to defend it, then I can pull him down. So first one right here, coming in, boom, to, my, to a finish. Second one, by the way guys, key on my two on one is shoulder pressure. I'm taking my left shoulder and really winging them down. This is perfect for, I'm up by one, 30 seconds left, I'm going right to my two on one. I got an arm stop from shooting, good position, and I can control them here. Both my hands are underneath. I'm not going one hand over top like this. Both my hands underneath, shoulder pressure in. Drive it, he pushes into me, and I'm the five. Questions? On the first one, does the shoulder pressure on the Russian tie not matter that much? You know, I just forgot to mention it. You always want to have shoulder pressure in your two on one. That's what controls the guy. If I don't have a lot of pressure, then he starts pushing in on my head, he gets, he gets up, position on me. So bottom line is when I have this two on one, I send the message right away by ringing down my shoulder. Right now he's not thinking about scoring, he's thinking about getting me off of him because I'm pushing down that shoulder. So something to keep in mind. Any other questions? Can I have an actual headlock? Or front, front headlock, yes. So you can, you can weigh him down right here and then come on top. But if I'm gonna go front headlock, you can't reach over because then he'll just go bear hunt. If I try to just reach over, boom. So I get, again, shoulder pressure is real good. Maybe I'll come from right here. I go to pull him down. He doesn't go down all the way. Then I can come with front hand. Any other questions? Can you try the second one again? Here we go. Watch both. Watch both. Here we go. Do both. Here we go. Here's the drill. This is where we got to get better. Finish it. Here we go. Right back to him. Right back to one. Right back to one. And good. Boom. Good, we gotta get better there. Gotta get better at finishing. Boom, our hands 
on. Boom, two on one. Boom, good. Get your reps in. Good. Got it? On two. One, two.